It's being hailed as a new way to help your favorite furry friend. Cannabis, known as pot or marijuana, is an increasingly popular way to treat arthritis, cancer, and anxiety in pets. New edibles and oils contain cannabidiol, or CBD, a natural element in cannabis that doesn't get pets high, but some veterinarians say has healing properties without the potential harm of traditional pharmaceuticals. They can cause stomach upset, kidney damage, or liver damage. A lot of pets are unable to handle the harsher side effects of some of those medications. California veterinarian Tim Shu created Vet CBD oil, which he does not prescribe and is only available through medical marijuana dispensaries. Rachel Martin says it helped her dog Sophie fight cancer for the second time. That's my girl. I love you. Sophie's vet gave her just two months to live. It just felt like a race against the clock at that point. After spending thousands of dollars on traditional treatments, Martin tried CBD oil as a last resort, adding a few drops into Sophie's food every day. In those two months, it was a complete turnaround, and I was sold. And now, over a year later... She came back from the brink and got a whole new lease on life. Jody Beliveau never thought she would see her pug Tyson walk again after he lost the use of his hind legs from arthritis. I was spending $125 a week for six weeks for acupuncture. A month of vet CBD treatment is $80. Lexi Davis says cannabis reduced her pit bull Essie's anxiety. She has been so awesome. She's like loving life so much more. She's like playing with her toys more. No downsides Yeah, there. nothing. Cannabis pet products are not yet regulated, and the California Veterinary Medical Association says vets are legally barred from prescribing or recommending them. Marijuana is legal in 29 states, plus the District of Columbia, and illegal under federal law. Some vets say there isn't enough data to show that it's safe for all animals. A lot of traditional veterinarians would never recommend pot for pets. Why do you? If cannabis offers a potential therapeutic route with minimal side effects, um, then it's our duty to explore those options. Non-traditional healing methods from an unlikely source, helping some four-legged family members get through tough times. Now, these pet products do not have any of that THC, the element of marijuana that has those psychoactive or addictive uh, effects. But medicinal cannabis, of course, for pets has become this big business potential. And it's a multi-billion dollar pet pharmaceutical industry that continues to grow. Amazing. It looks, it, it, yeah. yeah, it looks like there were some real results there yeah, for a lot of the pets really you met. It's really amazing. And a lot of these owners feel just... So relieved. Yeah. It eases right. a little bit of pain. Well, she right. said she, right. two months later, it was a complete yeah. reverse. Yeah. It was great.